Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality is here with, well, something new-ish. Um, we're gonna start a game called A Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, and if you've never heard of this game, maybe you heard of another called Castlevania. Um, this was made by the, um, um, the founder of the modern Metroidvania himself, Mr. Koji Igarashi. Uh, after leaving uh, Konami or, or stopping his, uh, his games of the Castlevania series, he went and crowdfunded this and it released last year, but it just got released on Android devices this week, so I was raring to pick this up and start up the game. Uh, especially if you've seen my uh, Symphony of the Night quick play, uh, where I gush uh, so hard over that game just being the uh, uh, the masterpiece that it was back in the day. Uh, so I'm going into this, this game relatively blind. I haven't really kept up on like its story or how it plays or even like how how well received it was. Um, I know I wanted to sort of try it at some point and now is that time. Uh, it says click anywhere. I am going to play on the controller so I was trying a little bit um, just a couple of minutes just to make sure that it did have controller support and it does uh, even though it's not really anywhere in the uh, menu items. So maybe they can sort of fix that a little bit uh, later on. But for now, we're going to start a game. Uh, we're going to start a new game. We'll call it new data, and we'll actually name this so that we know. So we'll start up a new game. We'll name it accordingly, and we'll just go into normal. Uh, we'll go into the game as intended if we like it enough to replay it on hard or nightmare uh, uh, <laughs> Then I can do that on my own time, but for now for the purposes of just recording this we'll just sort of see how it goes uh, Just to make you guys know this is a premium game. It's not something that you're gonna get for free uh, so uh, but if you like the Castlevania series I don't think you, the purchase will be uh, uh, won't be um, uh, I guess misspent. So we'll see about getting into the story here. The industrial revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to the kingdom. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, the steep price of As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Chibo, the boy for whom by some miracle the bite did not prove fatal. And Mary, a girl who spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber. Upon 
learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual. Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. So we have the castle, we have demons, and we have people with uh, magical powers. Sounds like Castlevania to me. sort of show up. Yeah, hopefully they can sort of do something about that in a future patch. Knife and Kung Fu shoes, very essential equipment. Yes, I'll equip something. I'll equip my Kung Fu shoes. Because everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Good, you're prepared. The next order of business is to... My Kung Fu Shoes! Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Mm, yummy. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually... The crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Okay, so we have a jump and we have an attack. And because there are lanterns, we can smash them. Yes, I know game, I can attack with 
my Kung Fu shoes! Do I get to use uh, Chun Li's kick soon? I can't bust through the wall. So yeah, like any other Castlevania game, you can navigate the map. Stuff from chests, that's always good. And kick lanterns. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. So if I press on the right stick, I get this. Ooh, I'm showing you my hand of magic. So I'll we'll just open the door that way. A very wet ship. Monsters! Uh, but for all my funning, the game does look pretty nice, so we'll, uh, we'll not give it. I will not give it too much uh, flack. That birdie. I didn't go up here. Is there something up here? That is maybe. I can do that too, thank you. And boom shoes. Yeah, looks like there's something up there. Have enough. Yep, I get able to get there. Yay. Hi birdie. Bye birdie. Ow. Ow. Dress. Sounds like something I can equip. And it is. Anything else? In the world? I do not. In this game, I know to press the. All right, cool. So there are secrets abound. Make things cool when we. Navigate through it all. Cool effects for the level up and such. Just a ring. Also, another thing it sounds like I can do. But nothing to smash on this side. Alright, so let's... Let's go into our equipment. Because if... Symphony of the Night teaches us anything early on, it's to equip as much as you can in the early stages. Let's see now how to jump down. So there's a jump, there's a slide, and remember there was another button, yeah, with the back, with the back step. Yes, we now have a slide. Thank you, game. Tunic. Is that better than what I got before? Dress is much better. We're gonna keep it on. From my studies, I have found existence of the following attributes. Oh, thank you, book. Hold anything else useful? You do not. No. Must get everything from the land. Interesting. I guess I gotta sit on this couch. Yes, we'll save the progress. Yes, we'll save it to our game that we're doing here.
Listen. And listen. for this, which is where I can cast fireballs, and I'm going to guess that because there's this cannon here, yeah, it provides access to a different room. make the best of it. First, volume map. Okay, so now I got I got the full map. Yay. wonder if there's an upgrade to make her, like, chuggy lightning like um, <laughs> Kung Fu fighting. Ah, but we get a short sword. That's okay, so... Have... I guess we could have equipped the knife, too, but let's go with the short sword. Okay, yeah, so different attacks. Oh, and I killed him, so... Nicely. Took off his head. Well, we'll just carry on. Oh, another bookshelf. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Flashing air kick. Perform up to three of these spinning kicks by repeating the same command. Okay. okay, so you need to be wearing those in order to do that. Alright, well, I'm... I'm game game. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Let's go back with the Kung Fu shoes. Because it's a uh, no, I'm, pressing. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Again, I'm 
That's in the wrong button there, so, alright. Let's... Oh, another couch. Another comfy couch! The big comfy couch. The big, the biggest and the comfiest couch. I will save it. Nope, nothing on that side. Let's carry on. I don't know what it is with these games. Always gotta kick the, uh, the lanterns. Gotta get the goodies. I need scarf. Okay. Another new item. I will keep the Kung Fu shoes until I, uh, see that, uh, special... Oh, it actually changed my scarf? Does it change the in-game too? It does! Oh, that's cool. Yes, game, I know, I'm pushing to the Whoa! A special kick to him in the face! Alright, well, we did the special attack, it's not all that special. Uh, let's go with, uh... Quickly switch to it just so that we didn't have to uh, endure its newness. Ooh, got you. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to get all the way up there, but I don't think I can in this current state. Something will happen that will allow me to do that. Go. Oh, take that. Oh, yeah. Get some items. Not sure what they'll be used for, but uh, we'll get all that we can. Ow. Me. All right, carrying on. Ow. What do you want? What do you want? Vasty hearties. Way more. Two handed great sword. Yes, please. Slow on the wind up. So I don't know how long we'll have it. Uh, potato seed. I love potato seeds. Ow! Ow. Oh man! <laughs> Stab me with his magic. Okay, let's. What do we need to do here? Shards. That's. Okay, so we got flame cannon. Head foil. Okay, so can you actually uh, increase these? Yes, the more you get. Anyway, we'll give this a shot. On this side. Take that. Air 
hair band. Always got it quick. Defense two and one. Well, it's definitely better. They give you a gun. <laughs> Take that indeed. <laughs> I shot a hole. Grab that. Set points up. It's always nice. And then what's in this red chest? 1,000 Gs. You're not. You're not getting away from me. I know I missed one down there. Don't really care. Uh, just curious to see where we go next. Uh, you know, let's quickly save here. Yes, we'll save our progress. Into that. It's fine. Great. Thank you. Carrying on. Take that, lamp. Okay, I can go top side here. Oh. That's right. I can't. I can't go past there. All right. Guess I should look at the map more. So let's head on back. I guess we'll go back through here. there's a whip in the game. Because why wouldn't there be? Just something I'll have to get used to, but for now, I'm doing much better with that. I don't want to go right game, I want to go here. Let's 
here if we can't, uh... Okay, so there is something to, uh... So now the question is, can I jump? Well, first, can I jump? There we go, alright. Make it hard for me to... Seems rather... Uh, what needs to happen here? It's way more than it already is. Feel like it's getting a little closer. So maybe it's something that just can't get uh, can't get any closer to it. There. I don't know. Okay, I have a feeling that something is missing there, or I'm just dumb. Whichever the case, we'll just explore a little bit more. Save our progress. Thank you. So I have a feeling. Let's check to see. No. Nothing beyond those walls. Then first prove you can find me. 
Along the way, you will have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Gremlin. lady. a boss that I must defeat. Uh, Alright, we'll give it one more shot. Uh, so, let's see what I need to do in terms of... Because that wasn't really getting me much of anywhere other than fighting from distance, which is nice. Uh, what does attack at 13? What is the short sword? Oof. Do the short sword. Uh, that's just rounds for the gun. So, not worried about that. Uh, hairband is probably the best thing I got there. Yep. Uh, so, when do I have anything else? No. And, alright, so I got all the best equipment I can have, at least as far as this fight is concerned. Oi! I'll have to go through that. Uh, Well, we've so already seen it, so we're just going to skip right to the boss fight. Come, Gremlin. Yeah, we don't need to hear a big track. her face wanted to die anyway. Uh, uh, okay, so I can dodge it at least. Not doing 
doing super well. potions, so... Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, yeah. That's right, I wasn't there anymore. supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. All right. Uh, I just wanted to see if I can get to the next checkpoint. I don't know how much more until I have a save. Unless I can go back into the ship and save there. You know what? I'll do that. But at the very least, I can uh, explore the ship for those uh, spots that I didn't uh, get the full map on uh, at a later episode. But for now, we did pretty good. We for cleared the first sort of training area and defeated the first boss. Albeit sloppily, but, you know, I still did it. Uh, so we'll probably call it there, and I'm hoping that I can record more episodes of Bloodstained uh, in the near future. Uh, Digging the game, so I'm hoping that uh, it uh, um, holds up to the legacy that uh, Metroidvanias are known for, and, uh, I don't know, try something new along the way. Uh, I guess we'll find out together. Anyway, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.